Ontario's Ministry of Labour is working toward further reducing the number of workplace injuries and fatalities and enforcing good safety practices. With a number of key safety enforcement and inspection dates ahead, the Ministry has an abundance of plans for the provincial workforce for this year and for 2018. This year we'll have three provincial initiatives with respect to noise, wimis, and falls, which means all programs, all sectors, those are the focuses for, for us this year. We want to reduce the number of occupational illnesses related to noise. We want to reduce the number of accidents and deaths from falls. And we also want to make sure people are using the new global, global harmonized system with WIMIS. This year, part of our integrated plan is working with employers to reduce the number of falls, working with small business, looking at mental health and PTSD as an overall system uh, component, and a, a significant focus on new workers, especially young workers, but new and young workers to the job as well as occupational disease. The ministry is addressing some of the OC disease through a rapid response team that we're putting together now so we can sort of pick trouble spots or hot spots and do some interventions before they become problems in the future. The Ontario Ministry of Labour has some important dates set for safety blitzes and inspections. The ministry encourages workplaces to familiarize themselves with these dates and to be prepared. We have a number of uh, blitzes going on this year, so I would encourage folks to go to our website. Um, the dates of the blitzes are there. We'll be doing a new and young worker blitz, for example, in the industrial program from May 1st to August. And there's a number of other ones, supervisor awareness, especially in the construction sector. Between October 2nd and November 24th, you can expect to see an inspector to come and see whether or not your folks are working within the, the act and the regulations of working at heights and that they're working safely and using their fall protection. Reducing the lost time injury rate is a long-term goal of the Ministry of Labour. We'd like to see another significant reduction in the lost time injury rate. We certainly want to celebrate a time in this province where we have zero fatalities. And our goal is to eliminate all workplace fatalities. I know it's a lofty goal, but if we believe if all the system partners are aligned and working together, and if people take a responsibility, not only at the work site, but in their home, to educate their sons and daughters about health and safety, we can make a significant dent. How can health and safety professionals help bring these goals to life in the workplace? By avoiding complacency. According to Agruso, complacency is the biggest hindrance to achieving zero accidents and fatalities. If employers and supervisors ensure their workers don't become complacent, they may reach that quest for zero. For Canadian Occupational Safety, I'm Amanda Silliger. Thank you.